So I've got a dinner date, so cannot do the live, which is unfortunate. Uh, it's been over a year since I've done a live stream, but I just want to put my opinion out there. It's very simple. MetaZoo was a shit show from the very beginning. It is still a shit show. I think uh, in terms of where it was heading, uh, it's ironic that the people kept believe the Meta Zoo supporters kept believing everything they said. Oh, Pawn Stars, that's going to happen. Oh, Roadmap. Oh, players are going to get paid when all of it was a lie. So I will tell you a life lesson. I'd much rather have very smart enemies or competitors because I can learn from them and I can predict their moves, then dumb friends. Then dumb friends. A dumb friend will drag you to hell with a smile on their face, not knowing they're making your life a living hell. A smart enemy, there's compromise, there's negotiation, there is learning from them. So this is the MetaZoo community in a nutshell. Obviously, I don't own a MetaZoo card. I'm not one of them. I'm not vested in MetaZoo. I don't have investments. I don't have heavy bags in this game. But I find it kind of interesting how defensive, and you can read my comments from my videos two, two years ago, three years ago, how defensive they get when you criticize even a little bit. You criticize their artwork, they get super defensive. You criticize the artist leaving. You criticize the price of these items, which is insanity. I mean, $8,200, my dudes. $8,200 is life-changing amounts of money for most of these people invested in MetaZoo. Don't tell me it's not. It is. You know, they could have put that in the S&P 500 and been way better off. You know, it's up again. S&P 500 up again. Almost a percentage point, 0.76. You guys know what I am. I'm a lawyer. And when people are speaking illogically, when people believe, okay, let me let me go over this belief of a episode of MetaZoo on Pawn Stars, even though they never shot the episode before. When people continue to make promises and they break them, Hello Kitty by Halloween was the promise. I was going to go to collect a con, and maybe had they kept their promise, they would still be in business. And I would be promoting them today. But they didn't. And that's when I realized, huh, this is a company that does not keep promises. Then the payouts for the Dark Towers event. They promised to pay in 2023. And my point was, why announce that you're going to pay and then obviously not pay? Like, from a PR perspective... This is terrible. If you're going to pay, then pay them and then announce that you've, they've already been paid. Not this roundabout way to do it, right? Where you want people to love you, but you have nothing to love. There's nothing to love. MetaZoo is MetaZoo. You should have saw it a mile away. It was a pump and dump. It was a Rudy Chan scam. It was everything Rudy loves. And the reason that he's pumping... Look at the two products he's pumping now. Ravnica Remastered and he's pumping Magic again. Why is he pumping Magic? Well, there's no more MetaZoo. And there's no more Flesh and Blood. Flesh and Blood players do not want him in the game. They've been very vocal and very loud that this guy is destructive of their game. And they don't want him. They don't... Game stores who do MetaZoo, they have been... On multiple occasions, right? Even Rudy will say it. Screenshotting his stuff and sending it to Legend Studio and saying, Hey, we can't have this. I'm not going to carry your game if you allow this guy to do what he's doing. He doesn't get no special promos, no cold foils anymore, no play match. He doesn't get shit. Right? He's got to compete like the rest of the local game stores. Oh, by the way, these local game stores actually provide a place to play. Right? I think... This is poetry. This is MetaZoo. This is the end conclusion of 
a beautifully written story. And it's the story of a scam. It was never a real card game. There was never... When you talk to Argos, right? He's all about positivity. But then he'll, he'll attack me in a comment. He'll let those comments get wild. And then people call me a donkey in a community. I mean, this donkey predicted your game would die in nine days. How about that? And any Meadow Zoo comment from here on out, I'm just going to say your game is dead. Because that's it. That, that's the only response. So anyone with anything positive to say about Meadow Zoo, just say your game is dead. Just respond to them, your game is dead. Because there cannot be a more hurtful comment, an end-all comment, than saying that your game that you love is dead. Because it is dead. And the IP, and I, I'm an IP attorney. I've been an IP attorney for 10 years, man. The IP is terrible. There's nothing in the IP of value. Because these cryptids, oh, guess what? They're not copyrightable. There's no IP protection around them. And the very artists that made them are no longer part of your, I guess no one's part of this company moving forward. The sad part is a lot of people lost a lot of money in MetaZoo. They lost a lot of money, guys. They lost a lot of money investing in this product. It's sad, but at the same time, it's MetaZoo, baby. It was an investment. It was a risk. It was something that people who don't have money put money into, and they got caught up, and it went to zero. I mean, well, I mean, it's dead. Will I have a second market? I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. But I do know one thing, and, I, and I'm going to be very honest about this one thing I do know. Um, I do know that it was pumped and dumped. Because at one time, five MetaZoo kits from Rudy were selling for $8,200. At one time, mystery boxes of MetaZoo were selling for $700 with Rudy promos. There is no excuse for what people have done to this game. There's no excuse for the... Because somebody is holding the heavy bags and it's not alpha investment. He says he has about 200 boxes of each of these. He probably sold 20,000 more. He probably sold 2,000 promos of him. I mean, actually, it would be kind of easy to figure out how many kits he sold, right? You can just count how many promos are for sale. And each promo is a kit. So back to my original analysis on this. This was a disaster. This was an unmitigated investment disaster that you will see once a blue moon. I mean, I have no idea how anyone can keep investing in this type of stuff. You know, shame on, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And you already got your once over, right, with MetaZoo. All right, that's my thoughts about the game. Uh, I will enjoy the stream by the most positive MetaZoo. I, I will, you know, I actually am going to watch the stream. I will go into Olive Garden, which is nice. It's not, it's not great, but it's not, it's you know, it's nice. Um, and I'll probably be watching the stream there because I want to know how they're going to spin it. I'm very curious to know how these guys are going to spin it to make it sound like it's positive. And they've already spun it to be like, oh. Alpha Investments will buy MetaZoo, and he'll name it Metal Taco, and everyone will be making tons of money. They've already spun it, guys. I'm just kind of curious uh, how much spin we're going to see tonight. 